folkies, Emily Valken here. Today we're gonna learn Homol Valsen from the region of Offerdal in Jämtland, northwestern Sweden. Homol Valsen means the B minor valse. Little parenthesis here, you might know that the Anglo-Saxon system is saying A, B flat, B, whereas the Germanic system says A, B, H. Sweden has followed the latter, so the Germanic system, and still does in big part, but new generations have a tendency to stick to the Anglo-Saxon system because it feels more logical. So there is a bit of a confusion around B, B flat and H. This tune is called the H minor valse, so because it's in the old Germanic notation, so this is called H. But this doesn't change anything. For me it's a B. Depending on which system you use, it's a B or an H, it's still same note. One half, one whole tone after A. That was for the little story, so don't be confused with the H there. This tune is known after a player called Ante Falk from Offerdal, but I have it after Mia Marin, who was my teacher. Remember that, as for many folk tunes, there are differences, like small differences and the variations that exist a bit everywhere. Here I'm teaching the version that I learned from Mia Marin, but when I will play at full tempo and with ornaments, I will add some of other variations I've heard and that I play myself. So let's take this tune a bit slower. I'm switching to fiddle because it's more of a fiddle tune and because I have more double stops with the fiddle. Three parts. First part goes like this. intervals ever. B part with a little G sharp. going back to D. different variations.
let's go into the challenge. So now as many of us are not going to concerts, nor Balfox, nor any musical events and we can get bored, I think it's the perfect time to practice a lot of music and play a lot. So I'm giving you a little challenge, which is to play this tune in all possible keys you can think about. So here we are in B minor. Why not in G minor? Or A minor? Or C minor? These are the easy ones, but you can also go into the harder ones, like B flat minor. Or like F sharp minor. That's hard to intonate, really. So it's a very good exercise to practice your chords, your arpeggios, your intonation, and basically the logic of arpeggios and keys in your head. I'm adding two little restrictions if you are playing nickel harpa, especially with an extended keyboard, or if you come from classical violin, you are not allowed to do this. And then... And then... So you're not allowed to just play the same finger patterns and just climb because it's too easy. No, no, you have to stay down there in first position, except maybe on the E if you play like some very high keys or something. Uh, you have to stay there and to play different finger patterns, that's the idea. If you don't come from classical violin, well, please also practice climbing in higher positions if you feel for it, because it's a very good exercise, actually, for intonation and all. And second restriction, if you are playing guitar, you're not allowed to use a capo because that's cheating, again, that's too easy. So no capo for you. You can also try to play it in major or like alter it, different things. Basically have fun with the harmonies of this tune. And let me know how it goes for you. I would love to have some totally useless but very interesting and nerdy and fun statistics about what keys are the hardest ones, which ones are easier, um, which ones are possible on which instruments and so on. So send me how it goes for you, this challenge, what is easy and what is hard. And if you want, you can even send me a video or recording. I will not post it here on YouTube, but I will listen very or watch basically very good, gladly. So I hope you can keep your spirits up with this little challenge. Let me know if you like this kind of idea of challenges on instruments with folk music. I'm getting quite inspired by the YouTube channel of Two Set Violin with their Ling Ling challenge, where you have to play classical tunes with like one finger or playing like this or playing, I don't know, with reverse bow or whatever. They have lots of very funny and silly challenges and I'm thinking of some variations of that for Scandinavian folk music and for actually practicing your instrument a lot. So let me know if you would like more of these challenges because I could give you more. I hope you like this tune and this video. Please give it a like and share with your nerdy friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And maybe you don't know this, but I'm not getting any money from YouTube because I don't like advertisement and I don't believe in advertisement, so I don't want to get money from ads. So the way to support me financially is on Patreon, link in the description below. Thanks, by the way, to my patrons there. You guys are amazing. On Patreon, I give some extra content like sheet music for the tunes I teach here with bowings and all. And I'm considering opening a Ko-fi account as well for people who would like to support financially just once or twice. So let me know if you would be interested in that, uh, aside of Patreon. And also, if you haven't yet, please follow and like my Facebook page. The link is also in the description. Thank you a lot for watching, folkies. Stay safe, take care, and play a lot. Hey, Dora!